Chacha once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sum based on project crashing under the chapter network analysis under the subject operation research. Again, a very important sum from the exam point of view for all the TYBMS M6 student. Okay, uh, this particular topic is a little. It is not that difficult, but the only thing you have to remember a few things in it. Okay, so while solving the sum okay see that you all note down all the steps okay that we are going to consider in the sum okay Chalo. so with that we will start with the solving part of project crashing okay now uh, let us see the very first type of sum okay we'll read the question one it's given that uh, the following table shows the details of a project the indirect cost is 200 per week. They after they are giving you activities, normal time, normal cost, crash time, crash cost. After that, they are asking you number one, construct a network diagram. Second, identify the critical part, normal duration and the corresponding total cost. And last, crash the project systematically and find out the minimum cost and optimal time and also find out the additional cost required uh, to reach the optimal time okay so let us see now we'll go one by one okay the very first thing they have access to do is construct a network diagram now in order to construct a network diagram they are given us the activity so we'll have to follow the activity path and secondly they have told us to identify the critical part the normal duration okay and uh, in the normal duration will be basically your completion time from the critical part and the corresponding total cost of the project okay so chalo, let us first start with uh, drawing the network diagram is given activity one and okay the start may is given activity one two one four so from one we have activity one two and one four coming out so we will note down that here first okay so i'll start from here I'll write the activity. So from one we have activity two and activity four. Thereafter it is given from two again we have four. Okay, from activity two we have four. From activity two we have three and activity uh, from two we have even activity five and then three and four is also there. So, so what I'll do here is, uh, there from activity 2, there is activity 4. From activity 2, there is activity 3. And from 3, it is 4. So, I can do this way. From activity 2, there is activity 3. And from 3, there is also activity 4. And from 2, there is activity 5, which does not have any other corresponding. So, I'll write this as 5. Thereafter, 3 to 4 we have done. Now it's 4 to 6 and 5 to 6. So, you know, this is basically from 4 I'm going to have 6 and from 5 also there is going to be 6. Okay, so this is how our diagram should look like. Okay. And now what we'll do here is uh, we will uh, plot the duration. Now what duration will you take here? Okay. The rule is for making the network diagram, the duration that you will have to take will be of the normal time. So chalo, let us take all the duration from the question from the normal time. Okay. Chalo. So now from activity 1 and 2, the duration is 8. So we'll note down the duration as this is 8. From 1 to 4, it is 10. From 2 to 3, it is 6. From 3 to 4, it is 0. From 2 to 4, it is 5. From 2 to 5, it is 8. Okay. And from 4 to 6, it is 12. And from 5 to 6, it is 5. So we have created our network diagram. Okay, now we will go ahead 
to find the various paths which are available here. So I'll note down here various paths, the names of various paths. So the very first part is 1, 2, 5, 6. So I'll write here 1, 2, 5 and 6. The duration for which will be 8 plus 8 plus 5 which comes to 21 weeks. The second path I can take it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. That will be <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Okay, so it will be 8 plus 6 plus 0 plus 12, which comes to 26 weeks. Next again be 1, 2, 4, 6. So 1, 2 is 8, 2, 4 is 5 and 12 comes to 25 weeks and last I can take is 146 which will be 10 plus 12 which is 22 weeks ok so our critical so these are various parts from this now we will find therefore the critical path is equal to critical path is the one which has the highest uh, value so 26 week is the highest value that so the critical part is 1 comma 2 comma 3 4 6 therefore normal distribution uh, normal duration since in the question they have asked you to get the normal duration is nothing but 26 weeks and thirdly they are asked us to find the total cost therefore I'll write here the project's total cost is equal to always remember the formula it will always be direct cost plus indirect cost okay now in the question they have already given us that the indirect cost is going to be 200 per week so we need to first find the direct cost now remember direct cost is nothing but the total of normal cost so in the question we can see that it's given 1500, 2000, 800, 1100, 900, 300 and 500. When you add up, we will get a direct cost as 7100. Plus indirect, they said 200 per week. So 200 into what is the normal duration? 26 weeks. So 7100 plus 200 into 26. 200 into 26 is 5200. Okay. So it will become... 7100 plus 5200 so my total cost is going to be 12300 okay so first step under crashing is we make the network diagram we find the various part get the critical part normal duration and the project cost now from here the actual stuff will start now okay crash the project systematically and find out the minimum cost okay and also find note down the additional cost and stuff okay now remember so I'll, I'll note down this is my step one the critical part thingy was step two now third one in order to find the critical part uh, oh sorry in order to find the crashing we need to find two things okay we need to find the slope and we need to find the maximum crashing limit Okay, here. So what I'll do here, we'll make a table. We'll have to make so I'll write here activity. Then I'll have maximum crashing limit. Very important. Okay, this is which is equal to normal time la less crash time okay that's the thing the next so so, so this will be one of them so first what uh, in activity i'll just note down this activity which are there in the question so it's given one two one four two four two three two five three four four six and five six okay so i'll make a column here now
okay and i will even make a horizontal so maximum crash limit we found the next column will is called the slope we need to find the you know the slope of the cost so cost slope is equal to i'll i'll, I'll note it down here so the cost slope is equals to i'll write here cash or crash cost minus normal cost upon maximum crashing you know the limit and last column which i'll need will be based on ranking okay so this is the very first thing that you need to so, uh, you know get the value for in order to solve the actual crashing time okay so we have maximum crashing limit cost slope and ranking so now let's start by one by one in the first case okay the normal time given in the question is 8 and the crash time is 6 so we'll have to find the difference so it will be 8 minus 6 which is 2 next 10 minus 7 which is 3 5 minus 4 which is 1 6 minus 4 which is 2 8 minus 5 which is 3 0 minus 0 which is 0 12 minus 8 which is 4 and lastly 5 minus 4 which is 1 so we got the maximum crashing limit the meaning of maximum crashing limit is that while actually solving while when we start with the crashing part these are the number of time that it can each activity can be crashed for example one and two can be only crashed twice it cannot go beyond that so that that's a kind of a limit now we need to get the cost slope so in order to find the cost slope it will be normal cost minus the uh, you know sorry crash cost minus the normal cost upon maximum crashing limit now the crash cost for the very first one is 2000 and normal it is 1500 if you look in the question is 2500 so the difference of that is 500 so 500 divided by the limit which is 2 i get the value as 250 the next will become 1000 divided by 3 which will come to 333.33 and it is recurring the next one will be 600 up divided by 1 which comes to 600 the next will be 400 divided by 2 which is 200 the next will be 600 divided by 3 which is again 200 the third one since is 0 i will get the value as nil the next one will be 100 divided by 4 which is 25 and lastly 300 divided by 1 which will be 300 okay now if you get the value as nil uh, the ranking will also be nil for that now from the crash cost or the cost slow whichever is the lowest value that will be ranked 1 so 25 is the lowest value i rank that as 1 next 200 uh, but there are twice 200 so both will be ranked as 2 next is 250 which is rank 3 300 rank 4 333 rank 5 and 600 is ranked as 6 okay So once we have done that, now we will start with a uh, actual project crashing. Now remember, for project crashing, okay, uh, the columns that will be required will be you will have something called as a crashing option. Thereafter, the network part depend on the number of parts. If you have four parts, okay, four parts, so we'll have four columns. After that, direct cost, indirect cost, and total. cost okay those those will be our basically our column so here we have crashing okay then we will have our network path okay and lastly we will have our total cost ka column under network path now we will have to start noting down so what we'll do here i'll make this column
Now in network path, I have four paths, so I'll have to make four columns here. So column one, column two, column three, and column four. Okay, the making of the table is very important. Okay, now let us see what is in network path. What is the very first path which we got? We got this as one, two, five, and six. Next one was one, two, three, four, six. Next one was one, two, four, six, and the last one was one, four, and six. Under total cost, the column will be direct cost, indirect cost. And total cost. Okay, so now let us see how how we can go about with this sum. Okay, the very first thing, very first column, me crashing, we will write before crashing. Okay, the very first thing we will write before crashing. Write the number of weeks which were there. The first one was twenty one week. The second one was twenty six weeks. 25 weeks and 22 weeks. The direct cost was 7,100 rupees. Indirect was 5,200 rupees, and the total cost came to 12,300. So here we are basically trying to reduce the cost. Okay, we will be trying to reduce the cost. So let us see how we can do that. So what I'll do is for every uh, after every crashing, I'll just make a highlighted line so we know the breakups. Okay. Now listen to this very very carefully. How to go about with this? Based on the ranking of our cost slope, okay. First, always check. We'll have to start from the critical part. Now from here, the critical part was one, two, three, four, six. This is my critical channel. Okay, critical path. So I'll just mark this as a dot. Now, go from the ranking point of view. So we'll have to start from the ranking wise and check which activity resembles in this particular path. And we'll have to start crashing it one day by each. Okay, crashing meaning you're going to deduct one one day from it. Okay. So now, for example, the very first rank was in the activity four and six. Check in your critical path. Is there four and six? Yes, there is four and six. Four and six ka maximum crashing limit is four times, meaning I can reduce four days from this particular path. Okay, the cost which will incur by using this, you know, reducing this one day will be twenty five rupees. Okay, that that's the meaning of this particular cost limit. So now look here. First, I'll say first crashing. All right, here crashing one. First, I'm crashing. What I'm going to crash? Four and six. I'm writing here. Crashing activity four six by one day. Okay, I'm going to crash this my critical part by one day. So four six. Now, now you'll have to look carefully. Where does four and six? This is my critical part, no doubt. After that, check where else can you see the activity four six. Now I can see four six here. I can see four six here, and I can even see four six here. So wherever this activity is presented in whichever part, one day from that, you know, the the path may whatever weeks or there one day will get reduced. Now in the first part one two five six, there is no critical part. Uh, there is no four six, so it will remain as it twenty one. Four six is there in our critical part, so twenty six minus one will become twenty five. This is my critical part. I'm just putting it zero. Again here. Four six is there, so twenty five. Let's say one will go, so it will become twenty four. Four six is also here. From twenty two, one will go, it will become twenty one. Okay. Now direct cost seven thousand one hundred was already there. Now that will get added. That will get added with another twenty five because the moment I use this particular crashing limit, your cost will increase by twenty five rupees. So plus twenty five become there, so it becomes seven one two five basically. Now, if one day has got reduced, if one day has been reduced, okay, the indirect cost was two hundred per. So not day, okay. These are weeks. Since weeks are reduced, one week has been reduced. 
okay this is not day but this is actually week okay these are all my weeks because okay? so i've written your days but they're actually supposed to be week okay because the question was based on weeks if i'm not wrong okay so this is supposed to be week okay it's not day it is week okay since i'm going to reduce it by one week now remember here the indirect cost is 200 per week but if one week has been reduced so now instead of 26 weeks i will be having only 25 weeks so what will happen to my indirect cost is that the as i go ahead and as one one week gets reduced 200 rupees also will keep getting reduced because indirect cost was this this amount of 5200 was for 26 days but since it will come 25 days my critical part 200 rupees will get reduced so my indirect cost will now become 200 less so it will become 5000 so my total cost will be 7100 plus 25 plus 5000 which comes to 12125 okay so this is how we completed the first crashing now the rule is till when or you know how long we'll have to keep doing that the moment your total cost reduces it till it keeps reducing we'll have to do it the moment it increases that will be our last stage okay that you cannot go ahead of that okay Chalo. so we done with this now four and six activity four six can be crashed four times we already have crashed it one time so there is three more times remaining to be crashed okay so let us crash again so now this will be crashing two that is again 4 and 6 by 1 week so again wherever you can see 4 and 6 it will again get crashed by one more day so this will become see here there is no 4 and 6 so as it is we have written so this 25 will now become 24 this 24 becomes 23 21 becomes 20 because 4 6 is available in all the three activities Okay, now 7100 plus 25 was already 7125. That will again get added by another 25. The moment you have taken 4 and 6, okay, one day got reduced, so another 200 will get reduced from the indirect cost, it will become 4800. So our total will become 12050. The total cost is still reducing, so we'll have to still go ahead and crash it further. Okay, so I'll just make a line towards it. Okay, I'll just extend these uh, extra lines. The crashing will, can go as much as possible. Okay, so we'll just extend it a little further. Okay, Chalo. now from this crashing, maximum limit was four times. We have already used twice, so I can go further with the third time. So crashing 30 will be again I'm going to use 4 and 6 by 1 week so this remain last year now this is uh, 24 minus 1 will go so it will become 23 this will become 22 this will become 19 again now it was 7125 plus 25 so it is 7 Okay, so this will become 7150 because 25 rupees get added more. Plus, the moment I use the, I crash it by one, another 25 will get added to this. 4800 will now become 4600. Okay, now here this total is actually wrong. Okay, this total is supposed to be. I'll just correct that part. This total is supposed to be one one nine five zero. Okay, so so now seven one five zero plus twenty five plus four thousand six hundred. The value will come to one one seven seven five. Again, the rule, the value is reducing. If it is reducing, we can go ahead and crash one more time. Okay, so let us crash it one more time. Now remember this 4 and 6 
okay the value of 4 and 6 okay uh, have been already crashed thrice we can also we can now crash it one more time because the limit is only 4 so we'll crash it one more time so I'll write here crashing number 4 again 4 and 6 by 1 week this is 21 this will become 22 this will become 21 this will become 18 so now we already had 7150 plus 25 so it was 7175 plus another 25 and from 4600 200 will be reduced so it will become 4400 so my total cost will be 7175 plus 25 plus 4400 which becomes 11600 Again, the total cost is reducing, so we can solve it further. Okay, so since the total cost is again reducing, we'll go ahead with the to uh, you know with the crashing part. Okay, now remember here one thing. Uh, 4 and 6 activity, the li maximum limit was 4 times. We have already exhausted all the 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4 has been done. Okay, so now this particular activity has been fully completed. So now we'll jump to the next rank. The second rank, is now there are two part, two activities which are jumping on rank 2. But always remember, check in the critical part. Which values are only there, only that activity I can use. So there is activity 2 and 3 and 2 and 5. Now 2 and 3 is available here but 2 and 5 is not available so I will go with 2 and 3 ok I will go with activity 2 and 3 so and the limit is 2 times so I will write here crashing number 5 this is activity 2 3 by 1 week so again now 2 3 check where else 2 3 is available if you look carefully 2 and 3 is not available uh, anywhere ok so I will keep this as 21 this will become 21 this is already 21 and this is 18 now if you look carefully now from here you have to be very careful okay if you look carefully the critical part value has been matching with other values also now 21 21 21 so now they have become common okay so first let us complete this then I will do what is the rule of this okay now it was already 7175 plus 25 so it was already 7200 towards that now this is 2 and 3 2 and 3 ka cost is 200 so we will have to add 200 here here 200 will get reduced so this will become 4200 so 7200 plus 200 plus 4200 the value is 11600 so we have noted down this still the value hasn't increased so I can go for another crashing also one more crashing I can go ahead Achha, now look here very carefully the moment the moment you know the critical parts uh, the duration once it become common with other now we will have to you know basically find uh, that activity which is common the moment they all become common now so from there now see here first second and third now if you can find any any path which is mostly common in all I can see 1 and 2 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 though 2 and 3 had another crashing limit but the moment they become common I'll have to find a path which is common in all because I'll have to reduce 1 1 1 from each of them okay so 1 2 1 2 1 2 common in all so I will now write here crashing 6 so I'll write here activity 1 and 2 by 1 week so 21 minus 1 will give you 20 this will become 20 this will become 20 this is 18 these are all same okay it was already 7000 okay guys from here the video had actually got cut uh, I don't know how it got cut so I'll just continue from where we stopped again okay, the previous video okay we had come to this point where you know 20 20 20 they all became equal so the direct cost will be 7400 which is already there plus 250 okay because we are crashing it by 1 and 2 1 and 2 ka cost is 250 so we add up here 250 okay and as I crash by one day my uh, indirect cost will reduce by 200 so it become 4000 
so when i add up it becomes 11650 now the rule your cost has increased it was 11600 and thereafter it became 11650 so the moment your total cost increases the sum gets over there itself so you cannot go further for crashing okay so i got the my total cost has now increased so the sum gets done there finally we have need to note down the optimal cost is you know the lowest the moment it increases a step ahead of that okay this is my optimal cost so my optimal cost is 11600 and the optimal time the optimal time required was this uh, for my critical part the optimal time was 21 so i'll write here 21 weeks and they also asked us to find the additional cost so the additional cost will be the extra cost that was incurred 25 Plus twenty five, plus twenty five, plus twenty five, plus two hundred. So total came to two hundred plus hundred. That is three hundred rupees. Okay, so this was the addition which was uh, you know it got trimmed in the previous video. So I have re-uploaded this video, uh, con you know concluding the entire sum. Okay, so this is the most important part. The most the moment your total cost increases, the sum gets over there itself. The prior to that will be your optimal cost, and the you know the period will be your optimal time. Okay, chalo. I hope everyone have understood that. With that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.